idea, but I need some money. Well, I did some money, make the art of the deal. If you serve me quick, you make my dreams come real. If you've ever thought about starting a business of your own, or have you ever considered working for yourself? Well, this show is dedicated to you. Hi, I'm Dan Steininger, and I'm the co-founder and director of SEI, an angel network. We capitalize early stage companies. Now we know it's not easy to start a business. You'll be able to watch how entrepreneurs pitch their companies to savvy investors and experienced business leaders. They'll be competing to receive angel capital while getting feedback about their businesses. Listen to what the judges have to say because you will learn a lot about what it takes to start a successful business. Now let me introduce the judges who serve on this panel and will be responsible for selecting the presenters who possibly can go on to the next step and appear before angel investors. First is Milt Dallas. Milt has 20 years experience bringing high visibility products from concept to reality. Milton is the co-owner of C2R, Global Manufacturing, which specializes in helping small to medium-sized companies bring consumer products to the market. Next is Teresa Esser. She's associated with the Capital Midwest Fund and has been the Managing Director of Silicon Pastures, an angel investment network. She is author of The Venture Cafe and a graduate of MIT. Lastly is Herb Zine, co-founder of the Trigen Companies, which he helped grow to 400 million in annual sales before it was sold. He is a graduate of Cornell University and has a degree in management from MIT. He is also an active angel investor in many early stage companies. He's a registered professional engineer. Now, let's meet our first entrepreneur, Jim Dendrusa. Jim is the president of Lightweight Structures. Okay, Jim, tell us what th this big building next to you is all about. <laughs> well, hello, my name is Jim Gendusa, and I'm the founder of Lightweight Structures. I also have a structural engineering firm that I've had for the last uh, 10 years. I've come up with a new framing system for buildings, uh, the Lightweight Structures product we brand named Fortical. Um, what's the problem in the construction industry where we need a new building system? Well, the, the problem is these types of buildings, they cost too much, they take too long to build, and they're very energy inefficient whereas it costs way too much to add insulation for energy efficiency in these types of buildings. So the solution we've come up with is a light gauge framing system that uses insulation for the, the decking material and it has a concrete topping. The, the concrete topping and the, and the uh, steel combine together in a composite fashion. Brought a sample of the, the product here. Uh, the, the joists are manufactured in, in two pieces. It's a cold rolling manufacturing process. It's very inexpensive and they just snap together without any fasteners. The decking is insulation board. Again, it just lays into place with no fasteners and concrete topping is, is placed on top of it to form the, the framing system for a building. We're able to do floors with this product and we're able to do walls with the product. We have some finishes of the, the walls that uh, uh, we have available with this product as well. The major benefit of this product is it's very inexpensive. We're half the price of this type of system, three quarters of the price of a precast concrete system. Also, it's very fast to install. Literally, we can pour a floor a day and keep moving on, on a high rise type building. Um, our, our product is uh, panelized, comes out to the job site, all pre-assembled, so we have low cost labor um, fabricating these panels. We drop these panels into place, no shoring needed, pour the concrete on top, and then just keep moving up the building. So it's a very cost-effective way to build a building, and it has a high R value built into the system. For the, wall, for the wall product, we have a super insulated wall panel that has a R value of 40 plus, and again, because of the manufacturing process and the simplicity of putting this together, it's very inexpensive, and we're able to deliver this product um, uh, very reasonably to the marketplace. So what we're looking for is we're looking for uh, seed capital for our, our tooling. Our tooling is very expensive. Uh, certifications, this is a structural engineering product, and, uh, and marketing. We want to launch this product nationally. So I thank you all for inviting me here today and look forward to working with you. Well, thank you, Jim. Terrific. Um, 
Well, let's uh, actually, I want to do an addition to my home. I'm thinking of uh, giving you a call. I'm sorry, I get carried <laughs> away. Let's start with our uh, judges. Uh, Herb, uh, I think you're, you're, whether you like it or not, are getting into the construction business. What do you think? Well, this is an interesting product, and uh, I've had the opportunity to see it before. And I'm sure you've worked out all the technical details about how you're going to make it and how you're going to distribute it, I suppose. But the real question is, who's going to give the warranty? Because as, you, as has been true in Florida with the drywall problem from China, once you build a building, it's pretty hard to change the structure. And so the question is, how are you going to deliver the warranty? Because you won't be able to sell it unless you've solved that problem. Yeah, well, the, the, the warranty is, um, is certainly a concern of ours. The, the beauty of the, the product is it's a tried and proven material. It's, we're not introducing a new material. It's concrete, it's steel. The steel comes galvanized, comes regular plain steel. Um, it's very strong and very resistant to, to mold and to rot. It, it performs so much better than, than wood products do. Okay. Teresa? I, my, my question is related to how you're going to get this into your marketplace. Um, I'm not too familiar with the construction world, but how, how have construction um, crews embraced your product um, so far? Do you have any sales? Will you sell to the end customer? Will you sell to the person that's commissioning the building to be built, or will you sell to the general contractor? And um, what, what will unions have to say about this, this change? Okay, well, there's a lot of questions, but um, uh, first of all, we are planning on using a union shop to fabricate. So we, we will be able to deliver this product on union projects. We do have several large projects we've bid on. We've bid on over $8 million worth of work in the last uh, three or four months. And we do have a letter of commitment on a very large project, which would really launch this company if we could land a large project. Uh, we do have contracts in place on some smaller projects, some residential projects. Um, because we don't have our tooling in place, that's about what we can afford right now uh, as far as our manufacturing is to, uh, to deliver on the residential type projects. Okay. okay. Mel? You mentioned the Fortical Solution is um, roughly three quarters as faster to produce and to assemble than traditional methods. Um, now, you, you had also mentioned that um, it takes approximately a floor a day. What is the traditional time frame? I'm trying to get a, cost, or a time sure. differential and how much savings you're going to actually be able to, to have with your product. Sure. Uh, traditional poured in place concrete systems, whether it's regular reinforced or post tensioned, typically takes a week or more per floor. So if we can cut that time to a day per floor, it's a huge time savings. We're, we're estimating 30% on an overall project. Hmm. Wonderful. Okay. Thanks, Jim. All right. Let's uh, ask the judges real quickly. Um, is thumbs up, thumbs down? Is this something our investors might be interested in? What do you think, Herb? I think it's a thumbs up. It's a good, good idea. The question of how you deliver, the, how you get the product into the marketplace and how you provide the warranties that people are going to insist on in order to try it in an expensive building. OK. Teresa, what do you think? I think it looks like a thumbs up as well. Um, anything that you can do to deliver the same quality and save money. It sounds right. like pe people are going to try it, and then we'll, then we'll see how it works. I don't know. Thank, Thank you. And Milton, what do you think? I think it's an absolute thumbs up. I think some of the challenges that you have are, Teresa built or stepped on a little bit, was the training. I think you have to train people on you know, how, to, how to make this product. And then also, you know, what is the structural integrity? I think you have to prove that right. before that you can really move forward. So that ties into the warranty. So I think it's a pretty, pretty decent product. Well, Jim, you got three thumbs up. Congratulations. Great. That's well, good. Thank you. So I think, uh, who knows, here's a, a Wisconsin company that could, could do some exciting things in the construction industry and change the world as we know it in construction. So we'll thank you very much for coming, and we'll be right back. Thank you.